Hi, I'm Blossom Mischievous Possum, and I'm here to show you how to do this. What? To get this to work, you're going to need two programs. One of them is VTube Studio, and the other one is Mix It Up. First, you're going to want to open VTube Studio. Mine is already open, obviously. I've provided the same effects that uh, I used in the description. You can download the packet. You're going to want to put it under your VTube Studio effects folder. If you don't have an effects folder, you're going to want to put go to the cog wheel and select effects. Turn it on, select effects. Then save it. Save current state as a new preset. Or preset. Once you do that, you'll have an effects folder. Do it. The little button here will let you pick different effects. It's currently loaded up to the sus one. You can adjust the filters, such as bloom, to make your color darker. Or lighter the background darker bloom threshold eye tint change it any color you want maybe match your eyes mine are already red so I don't have to deal with it but you can fiddle around until you have something you like Another thing is a vin vignette. You can move it around to where it will be. You're going to want to move it to where it will be you, where you want your character. So if mine is over here, I want it circled there instead of over here. Just move it wherever you want. Now you have the effect loaded, but here's how to make it into a toggle. Go back to your cog wheel. Go over here. You're gonna wanna scroll down to the bottom. You probably won't have as many of these as me. Hit plus. Make a hotkey name. So our first hotkey will be the effects. Effects. And hotkey action. Scroll down. Load visual effects preset. And then pick it. So ours should be sus. You can add your own you can add your own key to you can add your own key bind, but you don't have to. We'll get mix it up to trigger it by command. Next, if you want this to work anywhere you are on the screen, even if you're in a gaming mode, if I did it over here, it wouldn't really work, now would it? I have to be somewhere closer over here. So I'll position it just like I want. Maybe zoom in a little bit even. Perfect. Then add another hotkey. So let's move two. Then click move model. Then record current position. Now, it records where your model is at this exact place. We're gonna combine these and mix it up. You'll see. I also suggest having a normal position where your model is. If this is where I am for my normal just chatting, then I wanna have a movement for it. I already have that set up. So I'm not going to be showing you how, but just do the move model again, make a new one specifically for that, and save it as a new hotkey. Another important thing you're going to want to do is click on stop after seconds and type how many seconds you want. I found five is about perfect. This is very important to make the toggle turn off automatically. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with it on. Once you've downloaded Mix It Up, it'll look a little something like this. 
but without all these, I added them. <laughs> You're gonna wanna connect your account. Go to services, and then pick. So I missed up, you actually need to sync up the overlay button and then add it as a source in your streaming program, either OBS or Streamlabs. Along with the VTube Studio connection. VTube Studio has to be running for it to connect. After you've connected it, you'll go back to Twitch Channel Points. You're going to want to click Create New Channel Point Reward or Add to an Existing Reward. It is case sensitive, so I suggest Create New Channel Point Reward and then input it here. It'll add one directly to your account. Let's make this sus2. And then hit OK. Sus2 has now been created. However, it's just an empty command at this point. The play button tests the command, which you won't have to do just yet. And the one next to it edits the command, which is what we're going to want to get into. Here's the command editor. Here, we program the command. Programming might sound scary, but it's really not with this software. You're going to want to go down to the little action bar here and find VTube Studio and add. You want to do run hotkey, pick the model that you're going to be using, mine is Blossom model, and then the hotkey. Let's do sus effects. Now when we test it, it will look something like this. However, it doesn't move my model or play any sound. So add another VTube Studio, run hotkey, select the model, and then choose sus move. Now it should move my model when I test the command. Hi! Of course, as you just saw, it was a little annoying because it moved my model out of the place it should be and I had to readjust. I'll show you how to fix that, but before we do that, we should add a sound. We want the sus sound effect to play. So, find sound, add, sound file path, find your sus sound, make sure to set it to go to the mix it up overlay. You will have to add the mix it up overlay as a source to your OBS or Streamlabs for it to work. Now when I test it, pretty sussy. Now to fix the little issue of it not moving properly, you're gonna first want to find a weight command. Go to actions, find weight, add, amount of seconds. I'm normally fine for one second. then it will wait before doing another action. After that, add VTube Studio, load model, run model, hotkey, your model again, and then the hotkey for your usual position. Mine is just chatting. Now when you play it, it seems the wait wasn't long enough. So here I spend a while changing the duration because I'm stupid and didn't realize it's five seconds like we set the time to be. Uh, anyway, just do five seconds or whatever time you did for your effect in VTube Studio. And there you have it. Now you have a sus command. Be sure to boot up Mix It Up every before you go live. You might have to refresh the source uh, if you're running Streamlabs. Otherwise, the redeem won't work properly. 
If you liked this content and would like to see more, please give a follow. Um, maybe if I get enough people to follow me, I'll be able to get out of this cardboard box house I'm stuck in. Anyway, I stream on Twitch nearly every single day and upload VODs and tutorials. If you have any questions, then you can always leave a comment below or shoot me a message on Twitch. Thank you so much for watching, have a good night or day, and I will see you later. Oye, pasa mi!